guys, I am going to be canning apple pie filling today. Can you believe that? Right now we have the lemon and water sitting in the sink in a bowl. I'm going to take these apples and quite a few more. I'm going to peel and core them. Then I'm going to put them in the lemon water so that they don't turn brown. And we are going to start making apple pie filling and we're going to can it. And I'm going to take you along so you can see how to do it step by step. Okay guys, I have all the apples that I'm going to use today peeled. I have the cores to make my apple cider vinegar and the peels are going to the pigs and the chickens so nothing is ever wasted. So they are soaking in lemon water right now and I'm going to go ahead and take the ends off as you can see here the ends off because there might be pesticide in there because these were not organic apples and I'm going to start the apple cider vinegar with this. Now if they had been organic I would have used all of this as well but because they are not I do not want to take a chance with pesticide so um, <clears throat> I'm now going to go ahead and get them into my jars and I'll show you the process once we get to that point. Okay guys, here we are at Walmart. Check out the canning aisle. Can you believe it? There is not a canning lid or jar to be found. Check that out. Oh my word, not sure what we're gonna do. We have apples that we are canning and no lids to be found. Guys, if you know of anywhere where we can get them, please let us know because look at these aisles. This is not funny, this is real. And look at down here, even there's nothing to be found. Okay, guys, from what you saw that took place at Walmart, they are completely out of canning lids. I thought I still had some that I bought at the Mennonite store, but apparently I ran out. That's how much canning we've been doing. <sighs> so, anyway, I have tried to look online. I went to different hardware stores, I've called everywhere, and there are no lids to be found. So we are having to shift gears. We are going to freeze our apple pie filling, which works just as good. Not as convenient, because um, our freezers are already filling up, and I really like to have them in jars, but until I can get more, um, I'm going to have to do it this way, since I already took, you know, worked the apples. Um, I could just freeze them that way, but I'm just going to go ahead. I've done this before um, and made apple pie filling and just frozen it and it works fine. I did not realize. I should have checked before I started, but that's okay. We learn our lessons sometimes. Anyway, um, from what you could see that at Walmart, the shelves are bare. There's no jars to be found either. It's absolutely crazy. So if you can find jars or lids, snatch them up and store them and you know, you will be blessed. But <laughs> We apparently are out of lids, so they said it could be November, it could be next year before they get lids. So we are hoping that we might be able to find some more at the Amish store um, or the Mennonite store. I have not been able to go there today, so I'm gonna check back. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. It's pretty much done almost the same way other than when you are canning, you don't cook the apples, you stick them directly in the jar for um, the freezer. I'm going to cook them so that they're soft and ready to go because when you can them, that cooks the apples. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and start with six cups of water. Oh wait, I think I'm doing half of that. Never mind. I'm doing half of that, so I'm doing three cups of water. I didn't have quite as many apples as they had, so... Three cups of water, you wanna make sure you have a nice big pot so that it can all boil down together. And then I'm going to put in a half a cup of organic cane crystals or sugar of your choice. I'm going to do a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to do a cup of cornstarch. Looks like we might have exactly a cup. 
we get the cornstarch that is non-GMO, which is harder to find than the stuff in um, the store that's genetically modified from the genetically modified corn. We um, we have a hard time finding, you know, even corn on the cob that has not been genetically modified. So we don't have it very often. Okay, let's see here. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. If I can get that out of there. Love, love the smell of nutmeg. It's so delicious. Um, one of the dishes that I grew up um, having as a child was we would have mashed potatoes and we would add a little bit of nutmeg to our potatoes. If you've never had that before with butter, it is so delicious. It just kicks it up a notch. Okay, then I'm going to put in cinnamon. A teaspoon of cinnamon can never have enough cinnamon. Okay. Actually, teaspoon and a half. I love cinnamon. Love, love, love. Okay, and then a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. This is so simple, guys. So simple. And then it's done. So in case you have someone stop by, which we always do, um, you can make the crust in a snap. It doesn't take long to make a crust. And the hard work, as far as the apples is concerned, even if it is in the freezer, I stick it in a bowl of warm water and in a minute it is almost completely done. And you can just throw it in the pie shell, put it in the oven, and you are good to go. Okay, let me see. I think I've got everything in there. Let me get a wooden spoon stir that up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this actually I'm going to probably whisk it because of the cornstarch so I'm going to put this on the stove top I'm going to start whisking this and as soon as it comes to a boil I'm going to add the apples to it and then we are going to cook the apples for 10 minutes. You don't need to fully cook the apples. There's no reason to do that. So 10 minutes and then we are going to let it cool for 30 minutes before we are able to bag it because we want it cool. You don't want to put anything hot in plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on the stove top. And I'm going to let that come to a boil. And then I'm going to bring you back as I put the apples in and show you how I do that. And um, then I will bring you back again and show you how we are going to bag it. But I wanted to show you, I went ahead and I put my cores in a jar with my sugar and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And it is on its way. You can put a weight to weigh the apples down, but I have it on the counter, so I'm just going to shake it. And two or three weeks... It, depending on how long you want to wait you want to look and see if you see a mother and it'll just be a cloudy um, like residue on the bottom and that will let you know that your apple cider vinegar is ready like this one here you can see the brown on the bottom that apple cider vinegar is done so um, that's what we're gonna wait for so this one looks so yummy and it's just gonna sit and ferment and be happy and marry those flavors together I have two jars going um, and so yeah that will be apple cider vinegar but I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and I'll take you back as soon as we add the apples okay guys it only took a couple minutes and we have a nice thick syrup for our apples look at that yummy so what I'm gonna do now I'm going to add my apples and what's going to happen is they're going to get all nice and coated and just make sure you don't dip in and start eating because it's delicious <laughs> easy thing to do okay so I'm working with apples and cinnamon it just reminds me of fall so much and I'm so ready for fall 
even though I'm not ready for summer to be over with, I'm ready for fall. I don't know about y'all, but fall is my favorite month, or month season, I should say. <laughs> I was born in October, um, so fall has always been special to me. Okay. It's my favorite, favorite season. I think I could probably live with fall all year long, maybe. Maybe not. I do like summer. I do like spring as well, and I do like winter, so maybe not, but maybe if fall was just a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, guys. This is just absolutely the best, and it's so easy to do. So, so easy. And it's just something that you could whip up, and you know what? You could put this on, make some simple biscuits, even the kind you bought in the store. Throw this on there. Look at that. It is so delicious. Deliciousness. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these on the stove top and I'm going to cook them down for about 10 minutes on low because you don't want to scorch anything and because that could easily happen because of the cornstarch in there. And then I'm going to try to keep my hands out of it <laughs> and I'll bring you back and then we will bag it up and we will have apple pie filling in the freezer even though it's not going to be you know in canning jars it's okay the next time I find lids I'm going to do it in the jars and show you how to do that one as well so now I'm just going to stick this on the stove and get to cooking those apples okay guys the apple pie filling has cooled off. Look how yummy it looks. It's simply amazing. What I am going to do now is I'm going to stick it in our freezer bags. I don't have small ones, so I'm going to go ahead and stick them in the big bags. Um, it is two and a half cups per pie. Um, I like to put a little bit more, so I'm gonna put three cups because I like a big, apple pie. This can be kind of messy. It works better if you have the smaller bag, but that's all right. This will work just fine. That's another thing, guys, that's really hard to find is Ziploc bags. It's like crazy. I don't know about your part of the uh, country, but here it is getting harder to find all essential items that we as homesteaders use. Okay. So there you have a bag of apple pie filling. And the way I do it is I will get all the air out of it and I push it down. Get all the air out of it like so, and then I stack them. That is the simplest way because then it's not a big bulky, um, you know, bag. It's just, it lay, they lay on top of each other and I stack them in the freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them. I wanted to tell you, you know, along with not being able to get lids, Jean found me these wonderful lids online. Not that they're canning lids, but they're wonderful for making salad dressing that you can put on a mason jar. I love mason jars, so everything mason jar. But anyway, you can put these on and you can use them for salad dressing. You can use them as drink lids. They're wonderful. And I will have the link below in case you are interested in these um, flip lids wide they're for the wide mouth mason jars but they are wonderful and they're called so light anyway i'm going to go ahead and finish putting the rest of this apple pie filling by you know two and a half or three cups i will have the recipe for this in the description below i forgot to put the recipe for the spice apples last time so sorry <laughs> um, for those that have never made it it's important to have that recipe so I will put that in the description below. And again, you know, with any recipe, if you happen to like more cinnamon or less sugar or whatever, you know, just tweak it and um, it should be fine. As far as spices are concerned, you can put more or less. But anyway, that's how I'm gonna finish them off. So I'm sorry that we were not able to can the apples, but you know what, we improvise. You do what you have to do. It could have made someone really upset, pushed them off their apple cart, but for me, it's just like, well, we have no canning jars. We're going to make the best of it. We have these apples cut up. We are still going to put them to use 
and we will freeze them. I know for some freezer space is limited, so this can be hard and canning is much, you know, um, it doesn't take up as much space if you have a shelf to put them on, but you know, this is the next best thing. So I hope that you will give this a try. Um, I will, as soon as I get lids, I will show you how I can it so that you can see how to do it that way as well. But for now we have them as freezer uh, apples and it works. So anyway guys, I hope you are all doing well, preserving the harvest. Um, we are working hard at trying to use up everything that's coming in, things that we've been blessed with. Just put up food, guys. Um, prep, 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 because it's important, especially in this day and age. But I hope that you are all doing well. I'm going to end for now. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do so. I know there's a lot of you. I have checked my analytics. There's a lot of you that are watching that have not subscribed. It doesn't cost you anything and we would love for you to subscribe because it really helps our channel out. And give us a thumbs up as well. Let us know that you enjoy our videos. And we are getting so close to our uh, 4,000 watch hours. We are like 250 hours away. So exciting. If you feel like watching us, we would love that. But anyway guys, we're going to end for now. Um, take care and God bless.